we doing tonight? Yes? Okay, now I ask that with as much energy and enthusiasm as I possibly can because I do know one thing about this man and I don't know if it was just because him and I were the brave ones and we would do it or he just seriously loved happiness. Salsa back in the day used to be not about flips and tricks and, and, and splits and rhinestones. It used to be about fun. And it used to be about themes. I remember there was a matrix routine. Yeah, yeah you guys remember that. It's an old school here. I don't want to age myself, but there was a matrix routine. There was a Pancho Villa routine. There were, I mean, you watch a movie and you're like, we're doing that on stage with salsa. It didn't matter what we, I did a drunk cowboy routine. What the hell is that? But that's what the Congress was. It was entertainment and it still is. I'm not saying that it isn't anymore. It used to be a lot lighter is what I'm saying. And I think Albert really held on to that. Like I know I did. And, uh, Two years ago, he asked Vince and I to literally make fun of him. Straight up. He said, well, I'm not gonna imitate his voice because I can't, but he said, Joe Vince, and he gave us an award too for that same reason. It's because Vince and I like to keep that a little light. And he straight up said, I want you guys to make fun of me. I said, what are my limits? He said, no limits. I said, cool. Can we make fun of your walk? Yes. The way you talk? Yes. All right. All game. How about your hair? Looking like a Brillo pad? Yes. And to be honest, he loved that. That was him. It, we could be having a serious conversation about whatever it could have been. And he still made a joke about it. And if you knew him that personally, you would know. And I know some of you, and even if you've come to the Congresses, you have seen him say something. And sometimes you're like, Albert, really? So I just want you guys to know that this Congress tonight, and last night too, and tomorrow night, even though he did pass, even though he's got that one special seat up there, and we're sad, yes, we lost someone very special. Someone that believed in each and every dancer that stepped on the stage. He believed so much in people. It's not, it, it was amazing. And he would push you, and he would give you opportunities. And if you didn't take that, you felt guilty. You felt as if you let this man down. This man, till the end, stood for this. This dance thing, okay? Remember that. So again, when you see these shows, it's okay to be happy, guys. It's okay, because this is what he wanted. This is what he stood for. Cool? Yeah. Well, since we're talking about Mega Fun Albert, Vince, You were the best one to imitate Albert Torres, Vince. Yes, you were. So we need you to do it one more time because we need Albert to smile up there in heaven, Vince. All right? Here we go, Vince. Okay, before I do it, um, I just want like to, to say that I, I, I love Albert. I love you, Albert. And he gave us a lot of opportunities and I will never, ever, ever take for granted. Thank you, Albert. Thank you for everything. And because of that, I'm going to start off by what he would do if he walked on the stage right now. Exactly what he would do. If he was unaware and this was like a surprise, this is exactly what he would do. I wish I had a blazer, but I don't. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to fit that. No, Elio said it himself. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 